In case you've been living underneath a rock, Oculus recently released its Quest Link Beta, which basically allows you to connect your Quest to your PC with a USB cable, essentially turning the Quest into any other sort of like tethered VR headset. So you have full access to your Steam library, full access to your Oculus library, and it basically treats it the same as like a Rift or Rift S with the full power of your PC behind it which in my opinion is an absolute game changer. So in order to do this, the Oculus Quest requires a certain quality of cable. It needs to be good enough to transfer the signal, but also enough power to the headset. So your standard run of the mill USB type C probably is not gonna work. Oculus is eventually gonna be coming out with their own special Quest Link cable for like 80 bucks. But for the meantime, since that's not out, they gave us a suggested cable that we can order off of Amazon for like 13 bucks, because it should be good enough to run this whole thing. I'll leave a link for that in the description below, but unfortunately, since I got my order in a bit late, they're backlogged now for like a week out. But if you think something as trivial as the cable is gonna prevent me from providing you with information on the latest virtual reality advancements four days after everybody else has made a video on it, then you must know nothing about me, nothing. Rather than wait a week, I decided to try out all my USB cables. Uh, this one's the only one that appears to work, and unfortunately, it's only like a foot and a half long. And if that wasn't bad enough, it doesn't seem like it wants to work in my USB header. It only wants to work in my USB extension card. So I don't know if that's like a power delivery issue or something, like this is too weak. But either way, it works back there, so we'll work with what we have. So let's go ahead and plug this thing in and get into some games. So far, everything's been working great. Everything's super smooth, feels just like regular PC VR. Uh, some of the rooms are messed up, which need adjusting, but that makes sense. We're gonna go ahead and start with Beat Saber because Powered Lights asked me in a comment to test out the Oculus Link with Beat Saber. Uh, I'm not sure if this is what he had in mind, but this is what he's getting, so let's do it. All right, so far so good. I can already tell you immediately that this feels better than playing on the, oh, I can't go that far, than uh, playing on the Quest normally. No. Okay, yeah, this, this feels a lot better than just playing on the Quest, like, everything feels super responsive, it almost feels, it feels just like playing on my Rift S, honestly. Okay, I don't think I played this song, I feel like Single Saber will probably be better for this play space. Yeah, powered lights, I'll do some more intensive testing when I get the actual cable in, but I feel like you'd be completely happy playing Beat Saber on the Quest. Oh, okay, I can't dodge that stuff. Yeah, I mean, this feels pretty good. Okay, why does everything have to be so high up? Which one of those is horde mode? Is that... Okay. Uh. No, no, get away. Yeah. Dude, it is so hot under here with my computer running Ugh. that it straight up feels like I'm in Arizona. This is the most immersive VR experience of my existence. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Ugh. Holy <laughs> Okay, well at least we know VR chat works because I am now legally blind. I tried to load up Blade and Sorcery in Steam VR and initially said that it didn't support this headset, but a few seconds later, here we are and everything appears fine to me. But again, look at this. Look at my guy. He's so small and so cute. I can't get over it. You know what makes me a little bit upset? If I would have known that the Oculus was gonna be releasing a Quest Link one and a half months later, I would have never bought a Rift S. 
you know, because this seems every bit as good as my Rift S. Except for I cannot see up, so I guess I'm just stabbing dicks now. This is actually pretty awesome. It appears to work with Dolphin VR as well. I played through all of Ocarina of Time on my Rift a few months back, which I highly suggest. It was super fun. And this looks about exactly the same as it did before. Actually, I'd say it looks a little bit better just because of the clarity of the quest. I'm about to end this whole man's career. <laughs> Heart. Heart. Easy. Mm -hmm. Knew it from the start. Look at that. Solid. That's an all-in hand if I've ever seen it. All right, so I'm gonna give this a try. Go hard. We'll do math, math, max bet, max bet, because that's the way I roll. <laughs> okay, I missed the first one, but it's okay. I can make it up. And I missed that one. And I missed that one. It's okay. I just got through fast. Uh, no, just got through so fast. Uh, gotta hit the bird. Got through fast. Got through so fast. Hit the guy in the back. Hit the guy. Woo! Easy. All right, guys. So I just thought of something that's gonna absolutely blow your minds. So if I'm playing Zelda on my quest, wouldn't that make him an Oculus Link? <laughs> Dude, I always forget how cool this King Spray game is. Like, if I had any artistic ability at all, I'd be in here all the time. But literally all I want to do is draw dicks. <laughs> like, ha have any of you guys seen that show, American Vandal, where the guy spray paints dicks on all the cars? I feel like I'd get caught right away because, ugh, I should probably get up. From what I've been told, my dick is very unique. And anytime I've ever drawn my dick on anything, people just straight up know, yeah, that's Chris's dick. So I'll show you what it looks like. I usually go like this. Boom. And I put a little dot right there to close it out and get a look at that. Thinks he's got nothing. I'm gonna sign this. C Q R. Chris quits reality. I gotta think of a better acronym. Alright, so this is Vivecraft, the Minecraft VR mod for the Java edition. And as far as I can tell, this is working out perfect as well. Punch you. Suck it. Suck it. Whoa. What? Am I flying? Okay, hang on. Maybe not perfect if I could fly all of a sudden. Is there... Is there a flying glitch? Okay. How, how do I even get down at this point? Okay. Oh, God. What is going on? Oh, normal. Okay. Come on. One more. Please. I'll go for an easy one. Move your face. Holy s***. Easy. That includes the testing for today. I'll probably do some more tests once I get the actual cable in the mail. But anyways, this performed way better than I thought it would. Even though the testing conditions were not ideal, it literally worked on everything I tried, including the Vivecraft and Dolphin VR, which was a huge surprise. Everything felt really good. I didn't notice any kind of latency. It definitely felt a lot better than just using the Quest by itself. Sometime down the road, I'll probably run some tests and switch between all my headsets rapidly so I can decide which one feels the best. But honestly, you really can't go wrong with this at this point. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments below what you'd like to see next. 
And until then, that's all for today, and I'll see you on the other side.